Hello class, in this tutorial of depreciation calculation, we'll understand about the drop down list. That is how we can create a drop down list and how we can incorporate the formulas with the cell referencing so that everything gets updated automatically whenever we select any thing. So this is a question that is initial cost is rupees 10 lakhs and salvage value is 50,000 and lifetime in years is five. So basically, select method so we want to create a list of depreciation method so that whenever we select that method the values in this particular column gets in the particular table gets updated so how we can create it just simply write method of depreciation there are two methods sln and db now go to this cell and then go to data, then go to data, validation, then list and source are these are the two sources, SLN and DP. Just okay. Now you'll see you are finding the two options. That is SLN, simply. Okay, simple. First, we have to create the drop down list. Now, what is the opening balance? Opening balance is simple. Initial cost, it is not going to change. Enter. Depreciation. Now, we have to use the if condition. That if this particular cell is SLN, then give me the value calculated by SLN formula. Otherwise, give me the value which is calculated by DB formula. So, we'll use if. Test, logical test if you read the syntax. This cell, now we have to fix this cell because this is not going to change. If we drag down our values, this is equals to, now this is a text. So we have to use, we have to enter this under quotes. This is SLN. Close the quotes. If this is true, then give me the value which is calculated by SLN formula. SLN tab. This is the cost, fix this. This is the value of scrap value, fix this. This is the life, fix this. Bracket close. Now it is asking for value if false. If it is false, then give us the value which is calculated by DB formula. DB, this is the cost, fix this. This is the scrap value, fix this. This is the life, fix this. Period is 1. We are not going to change it because when we use the control D function, then the cell should come below. And months, I am assuming that it has been purchased on the very first day. So, I am not entering any info regarding the months. Bracket close. Now, see, it will give you the answer. Wait a minute. We have to close the brackets. And if this is equals to SLN, then give me the SLN value. Otherwise, sorry, I forgot to add one information. That is, this is cost. This is salvage value. This is life. And this is period. Okay. Bracket close. And then again, bracket close. Enter. Now, see. You get the amount of 1,90,000. If you change this to DB, then it will get updated. Very simple. Now, I want you to use round function also. Because if any, inf uh, if any decimal places are coming out, then instead of cha changing it to manually, we can also use the round function so that it can round off the value to the next highest value. So, simply use round function here. And after this, just use comma zero. It means round off, round off with zero decimal places. There should not be any decimal. So zero, bracket close, close. You get the amount. Okay, closing balance is simple. Equals to opening balance minus depreciation. Enter. Now the opening balance should be equals to the closing balance of previous year. Depreciation formula will remain same. 
closing balance formula will remain same. Now this will be same. Simple that on fifth period this will be equal to the scrap value and if I change this to dv it should be automatically updated. Now there is one more point which I want to share with you that now I am I have dragged this formula till here only. What if I drag the formula little bit more? Then you will see that you are getting the num error. Now I don't want that. For that, what can I do? I can simply put some conditions. What does that mean? If I use count a, that is, if the count of this particular cell is one then give me the value otherwise give me nothing okay i'll tell you how we can use it simply just delete this okay if i'm adding a condition here just delete this you can use sorry you can use a condition here you can start putting the conditions from period two onwards so here simple if equals to if this particular cell if this if the count of this particular cell is equals to one then give me the closing balance answer otherwise give me nothing so what i am trying to say that if there is any if the the count of this cell is one then give me the closing balance of previous year otherwise give me nothing so after fifth period what will happen the count of this particular cell will not be equal to one then it will not give me the value of previous closing balance then it will be give me nothing see how it will work enter now just drag this see it is not giving me any value all these are blank after the fifth period but I have dragged the formula, but still it is not giving me the answers. Similarly, for depreciation also, you can put a condition that if count of this cell is equals to 1, then give me the value. Otherwise, give me nothing. Enter. Now you can add this also. After the fifth period, it will not return any value. Similarly, for closing balance also, you can put a condition. If count of this cell is equals to 1, then give me this value. That is, opening balance minus depreciation. Otherwise, give me nothing. Bracket close. See? Now this is also not giving any value. And here what you can do, you can put a condition that if previous cell is less than or equals to, is less than 5, not equals to, if it is less than 5, then give me what? Then give me the previous cell plus 1, otherwise give me nothing that if the previous cell that is 1 if it is less than 5 then give me the previous cell plus 1 otherwise give me nothing so here what it becomes 5 is if I come to this cell 5 is not less than 5 it is equals to 5 so here it will give me a nothing value from fifth period on this is 2 and now you can drag it uh, what does that happen if this cell is less than oh i'm really sorry i have to fix this because fifth period is fixed enter and now you can drag it simple after this it will not give you the value now if you change anything it will give you the value and if you change this to seven then also everything will get updated because we have created a formula here. I hope this is clear. Thank you.